Okay, so I wanted to share this super cool app to make your life a lot easier at planning meals. It's called Meal Board here. Um, and what you do is, so I have been gradually adding my own recipes. If you click on recipes up at the top, you can add your recipes. And I've just been throwing away any papers or pages or whatever, throwing those away and adding them all digitally in here. Or you can even click on import recipes in the lower right. And all these websites, you can import a recipe. Sorry, I'm in one. Let me go out of this one. Let me go back. You can, all these websites, you can import recipes from any of them. If you just click on them, let's do paleo plan or something like that. Click on that one. Scroll down. Let's say we want a snack. Um, and then you can pick a snack. And then you click on import recipes, lower right, and it'll import this recipe. So pretty cool. So once you get all your recipes set up, and there's a lot you can do with if you play with it, um, close out of your recipes. And then if you go to your calendar, you click on this calendar button, it'll say like, what day do you want to start viewing your calendar from? We're going to say we're going to do this whole week. So let's just have it start on Sunday of this week. And then you can add meals to each day. So you'll click on like the plus sign. And let's say I wanted to add a, my salmon meal. Um, it'll add it to that day. And then you can just drag and drop from these, the lines on the right, you can just drag and drop to whatever day you want to do it on. And if you click on that dinner, that blue button and change it, say it was going to be lunch. You can just change it to whatever day whatever you want, if it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Okay, so now it's there. Then, once you've got it, you click done, and then open up the salmon. And then if you click on these upper dots on the upper right, you can add it to your shopping list. And it'll add all of your ingredients to your shopping list. So you can turn some of those off if you want. I always add everything from every recipe, and I'll click save. And then I'll go to my shopping list, and then I go through my kitchen and see what I have and what I still need. So I'll go through my kitchen and go, oh, I already have maple syrup. I already have Dijon mustard. I have olive oil. And I check off what I have and it keeps on here what I need. And then when I'm ready to go to the grocery store, I've got my grocery list for all my meals. So I plan all my meals, drag them to the menu, the days we're going to do with them. And then I add each recipe to the um, add it to my shopping list. You can even do like a pantry inventory. I don't do that, but you can. You can even use the barcode scanner. So you get, there's a lot of things you can do with this, but I just like to um, keep it simple. And then I also, um, this meal board app is on Brandon's phone and it's signed into our same account. And so he can pull up the shopping list when he's at the store and see what our shopping list is. Or if he gets home before me, he can click on the calendar and see what we're having for dinner and he can open the recipe and he can get started on it. So just something, try it out, see if you like it, DM me, I'd love to hear what you think of it, but it has made our life a lot simpler and I love the idea of keeping all my recipes electronically and throwing away the paper and just having it always with me all the time in case I want to change a meal or I need them right by the store or whatever. Um, so check it out, let me know what you think.